Hey, this is Scott, and today I'm going to attempt one of the uh, very popular remodels in the Forest River FSX-178 camper, and that is taking out this top bunk. So I'm going to actually do part of the bunk. I'm going to leave half of it for some shelving. I know in the past people have tried to uh, do this, and they show pictures, but I've never seen a video, so I'm going to try to make one today. Uh, I know it's going to involve moving this light, too, somehow, so we'll see you along the way. Here we go. The first thing I'm gonna start out with is, I'm gonna get my screwdriver here. Uh, you need to take this piece off first. So um, I already looked and I found out that these are just buttons. So you can just pull these buttons off. That's another little mod that I did that's fantastic, a curtain up here. You can just pop these buttons right off. And once you get those off, you can just unscrew this piece. So this is the easy part. These screws are very long. Step one, easy peasy, all done. All right, step two is pretty easy as well. The next thing we have to do is get this top piece off of here, and this is just held down with some little staples. So. If you just get under here with your screwdriver and start twisting, you'll hear them pop up right through. There it is, you hear the pop? Once you get one, it's easy to find the rest. Then you just keep on going around. Watch your fingers for those little staples because they feel really good. And it's too early to bleed yet in this project. So you're just gonna keep on going around and popping this up. I think maybe eventually it'll just, yeah, you can just let it go on its own. And now you can see exposed your, uh, all your goodies underneath here. Let me get the phone, I'll show you. You can see underneath here, once you get under there, you can see where all the wire is for the light, stuff like that. I was a little nervous about taking this apart. Again, there's a lot of pictures out there about this mod, but not a lot of video. So now you know what you're looking at. So I'm gonna take half of this thing out. I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is, I see right here, there's a nice end. So I'm gonna just go right to here and take that much of it out. And that'll give lots of headroom here. Still gives more than half for the headroom. So I'm just measuring here. Uh, this is 23 inches to the end. So what I'm gonna do here is, you, you have to bust this up somehow to get it out, cause it's not coming out of this little hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure 23 inches and go all the way across here, and then I'm gonna cut it. All right, so I got my straight line drawn here at 23. Uh, I added a two by four in there. I'm gonna sit right up top there and use my circular saw. And then I have a the little oscillating saw here to get the ends. I don't think it's gonna be able to Get it, but we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. All right, here we go. Sorry, honey, it's gonna get messy. This is actually coming off really easily. Probably some glasses would have been helpful, some sunglasses or safety glasses. I got a little bit of dust on me, but not too bad. You can yell at me if you want. That was really easy. Don't be scared to do that part. Do watch out for these though. They hurt. Oh yeah, no problem. So we can get this piece out of here now. 
Okay, so I cleaned it up a little bit and I just marked my things there. Uh, I did 21 and a half inches. I just measured from the back of, of this one instead of trying to go all the way to the back. This is an inch and a half piece of wood here. So I just marked 21 and a half on each of them so that I can cut it straight across. But then I got thinking, I don't really want to get up there and cut it because I'm going to fall because as soon as these are done, there's no support. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take out the light first and then I'm going to cut this and then take the, the beams out. So here's how you get this light out of here. You just twist it. And then that, hang on, let me turn that off for you. See that, there's just three screws there. So go ahead and just get your light out of there. Take the three screws out and uh, the light should drop down. And that's, that's all I need for now. I just kind of want it out of the way. So I just took the screws out. That's hard to do with one hand. And I'm looking up here at these wires. This is easy. We can take these out, no problem. Um, you're just gonna take the two wires that go with the light out. And this is a matter of, these things lift up. So you're just gonna lift them up and then pull the wire out. Let's see if I can do that here with, Let's try this way. There we go. Yeah, just go go here, lift up on this, and just pull the wire out. Now don't touch that end. That's a hot end. Don't touch it. Pull that out, and there you go. Now you're now you're disconnected. You can drop your drop your LCD through there, and there you go. Save that guy for later. So I just took my yardstick here and just made a straight edge at 21 and a half inches that lines up with my 21 and a half inches down here and down here at the end. I'm just going to stop right at that. Don't be afraid of this project. This is not bad. So there's still a few spots underneath here where I'm just gonna have to go up and get underneath it. So I'll just do that right now too. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's gonna come off no problem. So then just do the same thing as we did before except for do with the bottom half. There might still be a couple little spots here that I didn't get all the way through because I didn't take out these support things yet. Yeah, it looks like this is just gonna be the same process. Right here, there's a little piece of molding, so I still gotta get through that a little bit better. But... Oh, no, I don't. And then just peel. Yeah, there's a little piece of molding down here too, so you're just gonna bend and peel until you get it. I'm sure you can get that part. Here we go, we got this. All right, I got that out now and I clean, excuse me, I cleaned it up a little bit. Got some of the sawdust out of there. Next, I think I'm gonna try to do these. But I wanna get this one out of the way first and I see that it is held together with a lot of staples. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just sacrifice this one, this one of the kindling gods and that'll give me a chance to see if my saw will go through it anyway. So I'm gonna cut this one first and see if I can wiggle it out without dinging up my walls too much here. I believe I'm going to leave this in. You'll see later if I do or don't. But I think I'm gonna leave this edge in just for fun. Because I think that'd be a nice place to put little trinkets or something or hang things. We'll see. So now I'm cutting this. Let's do it. Okay, so I just set this back down to a lower setting. Let's see if it goes through it. And I'm just going to kind of gently wiggle this out. Yeah, that's coming out nice. I'll have to do some work here with the hammer. I'll show you that in a minute. Pull this one out. This will probably do the same thing. Yeah, those staples aren't coming out with it. So look, I don't know if you can see this here. I'm sure you can. Let's take you with me. Um, that's All those staples are still in there. So I'm going to go peel all those out with my screwdriver. I'm not going to show you that part because, you know, that's boring. But next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to saw each of these off and, and then just wiggle them out. And I'm leaving this in. So 
I just took out the first one of these and I did want to show you something. There is nothing else in this camper that is built this strong. Look at how long those things are. So I'm not going to try to fight with them. I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to cut them off right here and figure out what I'll do to beautify it later. But I'm not going to try to rip those out. That's too much. I started cutting these off a little bit with this tool and I, I didn't even switch it over to a different kind of blade. It's still on the wood blade, but watch how easy it goes. That works well. Well, now that's all done. I'll figure out how to make it pretty later. But it's pretty pretty, it doesn't look too bad. Um, if you wanted to take this one off, I, I did just for fun, unscrew these and pull on it. And behind this wall, the wall is nice. So they finished the wall and then put this up. So if you were thinking about taking this part out, I don't think that'd be a big deal. I'm going to leave it though, because this, this piece right here doesn't seem to be stabilized too much of anything. I don't see any screws in here. So I'm thinking they didn't draw out the back unless they put it in this way. Uh, which I don't really feel like finding out. So I'm going to leave this because I don't think my kid's going to bang his head off of it. And like I said, he'll put something, maybe he'll put some trinkets or whatever up there. My, now that the next thing, let me back this out. The next thing that I um, want to do, I'm going to stabilize this a little because I'm, I'm noticing that this, I haven't tacked this back up yet, but these are really wiggly. So um, I just went in my basement and I found these. So I'm going to put some L brackets on just to stabilize it a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them right here in the middle and just screw them in just to, just to tighten up these middle ones here. Cause he is gonna use this for storage of his clothes and stuff like that. But I just wanted to, I don't know. I just don't like how loose they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, again, just putting some L brackets right here. See you in a minute. So I just added those uh, L brackets and boy, they made a difference. I put, I had four, so I put one over there, two in the middle and one on this side. And boy, it really made a big difference. Our next uh, thing that we're going to do now is I want to get this pushed back up to where it belongs. And I think I'm going to stick some extra in there because who sees under there anyway? Uh, what I'm going to use is I do have a little air nailer has a little mini, mini brads in it. I think those are like an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. I wouldn't go much more than an inch and a half because, well, that's how big this is. I have the pressure regulated at 110, and that seems to work pretty good. So I'll go ahead and stick a few of these in here and show you. If you don't have one of those kind of nailer guns, you could just use some little, just some little small nails or whatever. Anything you want, really. You're just trying to get this to stick back up there. So I'm just gonna do it and see what we get. works great so again I'm using probably inch and a quarter maybe inch and a half brads here and I have it regulated at 110 and that's that's just right it's still stuck in the bottom and it's sticking in the top yep looks great so there you go go ahead and tack that back up don't tack this back down yet though because we still got to do our wiring okay I got done putting in these uh, the bottom piece here, I just stuck three little nails in each and uh, it seems to be pretty pretty good. It's stuck up there real nice. Now the next thing we're gonna do is put our light back in and for that, you're just gonna pick where you wanna put it here. Uh, or if you don't wanna put it back in, you can just leave the wire lay in there because it's, it's already sealed off and flip your top down. I'm gonna put the light back in because why not? Uh, I grabbed for this, I grabbed, what is it? Uh, 15 sixteenths is what I used. It was just what I had laying around and I see that it's bigger than these. So that's why I use that one, use whatever size you want, or you can even just use your little, um, you could use this and make just a small cut, make a small hole in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole right here. And then I'm gonna screw this back in up top here and I'm gonna add my wires back to it. I'll put the white with all the whites and I'll put the black one with the other colored ones here. I'll 
I was nervous about making a video doing this. Oh, you can't see me. I was nervous about making a video doing this because obviously it's my first time ever doing this. And sometimes things don't go right when you're making videos. If you're still with me, I make workout videos and stuff like that too. I'm kind of just a general all over the place kind of guy. I'm a music teacher by, by trade. And then I like doing all sorts of weird stuff. And I actually made my son a bet because we were talking about getting YouTube famous and stuff like that and how hard it is. And I told him I was going to do it. So you should, this is the part where I say you should subscribe to me and watch my videos. If you ever want to make a bet with your child, I'll tell you that in order to make any money on YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers and you need 4,000 hours of watched time for them to even turn the button on for you to click. So that is what we're doing. I figured workouts for middle-aged people would be great. Cause I'll tell you what, when I do a workout, which I do, sometimes I get tired of seeing the 20 somethings no offense if you're a 20 something, but I get tired of seeing them looking all awesome and not trying super hard and being amazing. So now I'm just plugging these back in, lifting it here, plugging it in. Oh boy, there it is. We're alive. Probably should have turned off the electric first, but again, yell at me if you need to. And there we go. Put our little cover back on here. Maybe. There it goes. Ta-da! We have light again. That's cool. All right. Well, the, now I guess we're to putting this top part down, and then we'll see what we get from there. Forest River was nice enough to leave lots of sawdust in here to begin with, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here too. Put our sandwich back together. And then we'll have to figure out how to make this pretty. So, oh, here, before you get doing that, these little staples, you might want to pull these out before you put the, the new ones in. So I'm going to pull out those staples, and then I'm going to tack this down like I just did my last side. So I won't video that part. See you at the end of that little stage. Okay. So, yeah, this looks good. Yep. All right, so now we gotta beautify this part right here. Now, I had some stuff laying around. This is a door, one of those door frame things. I don't know if it's gonna be long enough. And then I also have this. This is a two and a half inch piece of baseboard molding and that looks nice too, but that's also not long enough. So they both look good. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just uh, filling these holes and painting this white. Uh, so this is what this one looks like and of course it's a half inch too small yeah that looks good I think I'm gonna use that well I decided I couldn't deal with the half inch so I went to Lowe's and grabbed another one of these here so this is 68 and a half across and I'm gonna use that but then I was also realizing that down here at the end there's no there's nothing to hold it on so uh, I'm gonna take one of the pieces that I broke off earlier and put it right in back here. So I'm gonna just put this in here. Just so that I have something to stick it to. And I'm just gonna use a couple drywall screws, maybe even one, who knows. I think it, it doesn't matter, it just needs to stay in there. So if one holds it, I'll use one. That's not going anywhere. And now I'll take this and put it right up here. And I'm gonna tack that right on in all these places. Oh, and when I was at Lowe's, I also found this. So I'm gonna play with this next. Uh, this is shelf liner paper. Look at that. It's got the same texture as the, uh, the kitchen sink and stuff like that. So we're gonna play with this next and see about maybe making this pretty up here. But right now I'm just going to put this up here and hit it with my nail gun. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That was good. Cool. All right, now I don't know how this works. Actually, I want to, I'm going to sweep that off first, but I'm kind of curious how this shelf paper stuff works. She doesn't know I'm doing this part, so let's see. I want to look at it, though. Yeah, it's peel and stick. I'm going to, I'm going to sweep this off. And then I'm gonna, maybe I'll run run a line up here. It looks like there's just a little tiny sliver left after I run a line. And then maybe, maybe I'll see if I can wrap it around this too. I'm not sure. Stand by, we'll check it out. So I just marked, I measured it to that 10 inch mark right there. And I'm just gonna cut it with some scissors right at that 10 inch mark and see how this stuff goes down. You've been working with me lifetime pretty much, so you know how long this project takes. Well, maybe not quite lifetime, but close. Let's lay it down and see what happens. Just make sure I get enough. Hey, I'm gonna start on this oh, yeah. All right. I've never used this stuff before. Seems pretty easy. Clean the surface and stick it down. See if you can get the backer off. Oh yeah, yeah, this is nice to work with. Peeled right back up, laid right back down. It's not sticking to itself too bad. All the things you're always afraid of, it is not doing. Now I'm just gonna go back and uh, cut whatever that is back there and finish that off. I'll come back and show you me trying to do this. Part. I want to try to wrap that around that too because it sticks nice. That turned out nice. I, did, I just did three inches back here in the back. Now I want to do this, I think. So here's my thoughts on this. I'm going to just, I have these left, this leftover bit here that I just cut off the back. So these pieces are inch and a half. So if I go inch and a half plus inch and a half, that's three plus inch and a half, that's four and a half. I'm going to cut off a four and a half inch slice of this and then I'm going to send it to the back and wrap it. So I'm going to cut that off real quick and then I'll be right back. And now I'm going to, I think I'm just going to go over here and just try to stick it on and see what happens. Because that would be even cooler than painting it and less work for me. There it is. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to just take this and put it on the edge here and go all along. Let's see if it works. I used one roll of this stuff, by the way. It was $11 at Lowe's. Oh boy. Oh yes. This is awesome. Oh, she's gonna love this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that end yet, but I can tell you the rest of it is wrapping nice. Cut that off at the bottom with a knife. Oh, wow, look at that. That worked good. I'm just gonna figure out how to do this end here. I'll just cut, 
I'll cut that off there and I'll flip this tab down at the bottom and flip it over. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Sweet. Hey, this works too. Look at that. Just need to squish it down a little bit more, but boy, that worked nice too. I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. And then we'll be pretty much done with this whole thing. Okay, hey, drum roll. Ta-da. Look at that. I put on the rest of that end here. I just flipped it down over. Looks good. Everything's all awesome and stable and beautiful. And now my kid doesn't have to bump his head off everything every time he wants to go in here. Well, I hope you liked this mod. If you stuck with me, thanks for sticking around and uh, have a great camping season, everybody.